Go away, you swine! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Bones! Help me! Do not fight the calling! <laughs> Blood! I beg of you, home. For time! Relive your blood! Oh, 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 no. No, it, it can't be. It can't end like this. Uh, again, this nightmare haunts me. It won't let me forget. How did this all begin? Good morning, Holmes. Looks like a typical London day. Fog in the morning, fog in the afternoon. Ha, and here's a surprise, fog in the evening. Good morning, Watson. Can you imagine? I have been at it since 5 a.m. and I scarcely think my list of patients for the day has even been touched. What is more insufferable, I haven't even had a moment with the morning paper. They say the minister will assuredly... Holmes! Whatever is the matter, you haven't heard a word I have said. It is the tedium, my dear Watson. Life is ordinary, the papers are lifeless. Any hint of audacity, and dare I say, romance has vanished from the criminal world. Holmes, it is only temporary. You know perfectly well that sooner or later an exceptional incident will occur in London or thereabout which cannot rest till the talents of Sherlock Holmes are called into play. Then it will be up to your agile wit to set things right, which should satisfy your constant need for mental gymnastics. I hope the heavens hear your words, Watson. I hope they do indeed. I must take my leave, Holmes. I have an appointment with a rather odious man, Captain Stenick. He is apparently in a state, with near tachycardia due to some problem involving his manservant. Why don't you get out for a brisk walk, Holmes? Perhaps buy a newspaper or visit that fellow, Barnes, over on Glentworth Street. You might remember him, the bookseller. He has some new volumes of the particular sort that should occupy your mind for a time.
the strand, the strand, by the strand. Strand, strand, by the strand. So, my young friend, what is the news? Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Those old stuffed shirts ate up half of London at their big scientific to do, and some Candace Navia princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. A Scandinavian royal is in London? If you and the lads can look sharp and find out more about her visit, there will be some coin for your pockets. Why now, Mr. Holmes? If there's aught to be found, the Irregulars will have it. I'll send the words out to the lads. It is necessary to keep my informants in fighting form. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Pardon me, I'm looking for the Barnes Bookshop. Would you happen to know it? I know the place, know it well, Mr. Holmes. The bookshop is on Glentworth Street. Take your first right and then the next left and you'll find it straight away. My respect, Miss Fleming. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. How are you? I have some new novels that should interest you. A nice illustrated volume on fish and a collection of legends on piracy. They must be here somewhere. What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> 